Okay, student loan payments are a huge part of the budget for millions of Americans. Collectively, they owe around $1.6 trillion. And President Biden says he may forgive some student loans, but as Amy Kiley reports, some experts worry that could have a negative impact on the overall economy. I am considering dealing with some debt reduction. President Joe Biden says he plans to announce his decision on federal student loan relief within the next couple of weeks. Members of his own party are asking him to forgive $50,000 per borrower. That could help them in the midterms. I am not considering $50,000 debt reduction, but I'm in the process of taking a hard look at whether or not there are going to, there will be additional debt forgiveness. Biden campaigned on forgiving a fifth of that amount, waiving what some students owe for undergraduate studies at public schools and making community college free. He hasn't been able to do those things yet, but he has forgiven more student loan debt than any other president. And he's allowed borrowers to pause payment without interest during the pandemic. There's been no conclusion of any process internally yet. The catch with loan forgiveness is inflation. Canceling all federal student debt would increase the inflation rate by 0.1 to 0.5 percent over a year. The current proposals wouldn't go that far. Means testing could further lessen the impact, and Biden says he's open to that. The problem is Americans are already dealing with high prices. You've seen the war interrupting all kinds of things, supply chains, creating inflation. That has a knock-on effect for companies. It makes prices higher. Consumers start to feel that. The Federal Reserve says it plans to raise interest rates to control inflation. That has some economists worried about a recession. I'm Amy Kiley reporting.